Welcome back. Today, we're tackling the brakes, the sticky brakes. I'll show you what's happened. As I said in the intro, um, we're gonna be tackling the brakes. So, the engine side of it now, as far as I'm aware, is mechanically sound. Obviously, when I give it a, a proper road test, once I'm back on the road with it, um, I will know whether there's anything else going to rear its head. Um, I'll be very surprised, I'll be honest, if I'm completely out of the woods, but up till now, as far as I can see, it looks pretty sound. So, engine side of it's all done, I need to deal with the stopping side now. Uh, obviously, camper vans are notorious for this, because they spend two or three months of the year driving around the country doing all lovely, beautiful, fantastic things, and then the other, the rest of the year, they basically spend parked up. Um, so brakes are a big issue on these, and this is no exception. Obviously, this van, know the history of this van. We know it stood on somebody's drive for three years, so I wasn't going to, I wasn't at all surprised when I realised the brakes needed some sort of doing. So what we're going to do, just to cover all bases, we're just going to refurb every single caliper, all four calipers on the van. Um, new seals, new pistons, new sliders, new dust boots, the lot. Now, today's episode is not sponsored by Big Red. However... Whenever I have break, um, whenever I have break jobs to do, Big Red is my go-to company. Um, these guys are really, really good. They're, they're super, super helpful, and they supply with literally you can you can phone them up and say, "I want this. I want the kit for this," and they'll they'll express it straight to your door. Um, so there, I mean, there we've got like full set of full set of sliders for them all, um, complete with new bolts. Uh, full set of brand new grease uh, bleed nipples. Um, you know, seals and dust boots. Uh, and on this occasion, because I don't know how bad they are, we've actually opted for new pistons as well. So we've got the full kit there. As I say, once again, they are not paying me for this. Um, they are not affiliated with me in any way, shape or form. I just believe in their product. I'll put a link down below to their, their web page. They do um, brake kits. I would imagine they'll probably do other kits like clutch kit, um, clutch uh, slave cylinder kits um, for loads and loads of vehicles. Uh, if you're looking for to do it, I mean, it's a simple, it is a simple DIY job, no special tools at all. He says, I can feel I'm gonna have problems with one of these calibers, but we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Um, so anyway, yeah, what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to whip the calipers off, um, I'm probably going to do them just one at a time so I can just move around the car, move around the van one at a time. Um, I'm going to take them off, I'm figuring while they're getting done, if they're getting fully refurbed, this is, this is an optional extra which is what I'm choosing to do. What I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly whip them through my sandblast, I'm going to give them a blaster powder coat, bake them off so that they're nice and good and protected and, and they look nice, you know. Um, granted nobody's going to see them except me and maybe the MOT tester. Or maybe it's a tyre fitter if I ever come to get tyres on. But I'll know they're done and they're protected well. Um, and it, it's just nice to do a good job, you know, a decent job. So, so yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. I mean, I could blast around the whole thing today. Just literally split them, new seals in, whack them back on again, done. Job will be finished. But I figure I've got, I've got currently I've got another week to go. Week and two days to go before I actually put the van on the road. So I reckon I've got enough time to get around and get them all done. Or certainly at least get the front ones done, which I know are the, are the, the major issues. So we'll just what we'll do is, I'll just shut up now and I'll just, uh, we'll just blast straight on. And we'll, we'll just get the thing worked on and get it done. Catch up, yeah? caliper off first caliper off as I say all I'm gonna do is just do one at a time um, so what happens is on these it's not them that seized up on this instance it's actually the pistons themselves that seized up now it's a twin piston job he normally they've only got one um, one flexi hose going to them and then it, it shares the chamber inside between the two pistons or pushes evenly however on this one for whatever bizarre reason you'll love the French We've got two, which I'm presuming 
two flexes. So what I've had to do on the other side was, I've had to actually, because they're screwed in, I've had to physically take the flexes off the steel pipe so I can unscrew the flexi and then put the flexi back on the steel pipe because I've clamped the flexi to stop all the fluid leaking out while I'm doing this job. On the second one, I couldn't undo it from the steel pipe. So all I've done is I've just took the caliper off. You've probably seen, just screwed the, the, the caliper off the end of the flexi, but obviously I couldn't do that when there's two because the wires, the, the, the hoses were then twist together. So that's that done. I did intend on taking the caliper carriers off, the, piss, the, the pad carriers off, but as you might have seen in the video, um, that's my, that's my Allen key bit. Um, it was a little bit tighter than it should have been. Well, a little bit tighter than I thought it could have been. So it snapped that. So I think what we're going to do in the interest of just getting the job done, I'm going to leave them on. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to sandblast these and I'm going to powder coat them. I'm not going to video any of that because uh, this isn't a, this isn't a, a episode about powder coat and this is literally just on the brakes. So what I'll do, so next time you see these brakes, they'll be powder coated. So yeah, so you see it's all looking a bit crusty. Um, yeah, I think they'll come up nice, watch. There we go. So, happy with that with the exception of one small part of it, which is there. When I've been warming it up, it's obviously had a tiny little bit of fluid in there, which has obviously leaked out when I've getting it hot. But other than that, I mean, I'm happy enough with how happy enough with how that's turned out so what we'll do now is we'll um it's still a, i mean it's hot it's cold enough to touch but it's still pretty warm i'll um what i'll do is i'll uh let it cool a little bit longer and uh, get on with the rebuild and i'll show you the rebuild right so what i'm going to do is yeah it's i think we're like i say it's still a little bit warm but it's not hot so what i'm going to do is obviously we're going to pull pull out my two hanging bolts which are unf in case anybody's wondering um, I can put the new bleed nipples straight in because they're not a problem. Pull these old seals off here. Push out the, the old sliders. I can't remember. I think there might be an O-ring inside there just to seal it. Um, if there is, I'll pick that out. I'll run. I've got a little dremel with a tiny little, like almost like a wire wheel brush inside. I'll run that up and down the inside, make sure that's nice and clean. And then... Um, Grease everything back up and slide the new ones back in. Put the new boots on. That'll be the sliders done. The calipers, the pistons themselves, what I'll do is I'll pop the airline down there and I'll just thump, hopefully blow the piston out with the, the seal, the, the dust guard. Um, hold on, I'll turn this over. Hopefully blow it out with the dust guard, which I think, I'll be honest, I could probably rip the dust guard off anyway. Um, and the piston will have the seal on it because there's the pistons there. You can see the groove there where the seal goes into and then I'll um, again seal onto the pistons grease them up slide them back in again with the dust guard we'll uh, we'll go through it I'll just video the process in time lapse because you don't need to you don't need to see this going slowly step by step it'll make for a very long video um, but yeah we'll get stuck in we'll get that done Um, one thing I did find out about these, which is really weird, there's two different size pistons in it. I don't know why. You can see that. Actually, it's over there, look. Yeah, I don't know why there's two different size pistons in but there is. At first I thought, ooh, they must have sent us the wrong kit. Not a great problem. I have had the wrong kit once before from Big Red, and they did an absolutely cracking job. Literally, next day it was posted out to us. Had the right kit, no trouble at all. Anyway, two different size pistons, so um, these are nice and free, greased up, lovely, good to go. Um, they were literally pushed back in by hand. They've got brand new bleed nipples on. So all it's a matter of doing now is just popping the caliper back on again with the, with the pads in and then bleed the brakes. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait till I've done the other side, then I'll just bleed both sets of front brakes together at one. Because obviously there's two different, well, 
it's irrelevant. There's two different chambers in there, but I'll just make sure what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll get the old power bleeder on it, and we'll uh, we'll bleed it up and do a cracking job of it. So there we are. That that caliper is done and ready to fit, and it looks a million times better than the other side and how it did when I took it off. I do say so myself. So we'll get cracked on. We'll get it fitted because. I think we're going to be losing the light in the next 10-20 minutes or so, so we'll get on with that. And that's it. That's all we've got time for today. Um, I did want to film the, the refitting of the calipers and the bleeding and all that jazz that goes with it. But I'll be honest with you, it was dark, it was raining. I just wanted to get them on. I've, I've, <laughs> it's soul-destroying when you have to do the same job over and over again in four separate calipers. It's quite a, you know... I was, I was getting a bit sick of it by then, so yeah, so I'm getting them on. Sorry I didn't get any video footage of that. However, good news, next video that you see, the next video that comes out, hopefully should be road testing the van all going to plan. Um, we'll see how the insurance goes, because I'll be honest, I haven't even gotten a quote for this thing yet. Um, so, you know, don't know for all I know, it could be twice the price of the vehicle. I, I had that years ago with, a, with an old Cavalier that I bought. Um, that actually cost us three times to insure it is what the car actually cost us to buy which I was quite disgusted at um, so I don't know how this goes because I have heard some wonderful stories about camper vans costing an absolute arm and leg to insure anyway that's by the by uh, hopefully next video as I say will be road testing and see how it goes see if there's any other little problems or issues rear their ugly little heads um, we'll see how that goes uh, yeah so anyway Thank you very much for watching, if you've made it through this far, sorry this video's been very skitzy, I've been doing it over the space of two or three weeks, um, I'll try and put it together and edit and as best I can to make as much sense as possible, um, but, you know, it is what it is, um, as I say, the, the brakes are on, the brakes are printed, I've, I've ran them in the yard, they feel alright, a little bit of sponginess still there, what I'll do is I'll leave it a day or two to settle, get any little tiny air bubbles out of the lines, because um, what will happen is them little tiny air bubbles will eventually accumulate into bigger air bubbles and then I'll just give it one last final bleed through in a couple of days time once it's, it's sat for a little while and just see if we can bring that pedal back up. Uh, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. It would be very much appreciated. Again, it doesn't cost anything. You don't get bombarded with spam. It would mean the world to us because, you know, this is this is what helps me do what I do, and this is the thing that gives us the encouragement to do what I do, is, is um, seeing you guys are subscribing, seeing people actually want to watch what I'm basically doing, you know? Um, so yeah, thank you very much to all the existing subscribers. Uh, if there's anything that I've done that you're not happy about, or any questions that you've got about the, the brake setup, drop a comment down below, and I'll, I'll answer everyone, unless I got like millions, and then I'll try and do what I can, but I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. And um, yeah, so thank you very much for watching. We will see you all next time. Cheers. See you later.